1952, the SAS had pioneered the hazardous technique of parachuting into the jungle. In theory, the soldier would guide his chute into the trees, which would initially snag it and then support it. Now, hanging 100 feet above the ground in the canopy over the jungle, the soldier would then drop by rope to the jungle floor below. For jungle warfare, new skills would be necessary if they were to survive in this hostile terrain. Life was grim in this dark, damp environment. As well as the ever-present threat of enemy ambush or booby traps, the patrols had to contend with the most dangerous species of animals and wildlife. The Malayan War was unlike any conflict the SAS had fought before. The hit-and-run tactics of the desert campaigns in World War II had been replaced by the relentless trek on foot through deep, dense jungle constantly on the alert, each side knowing that the other was ever-present, and both were under great pressure as a result. We went into the jungle for about four months at a time, sometimes five, sometimes three. The normal was four months. We went in with 28 days rations on our backs and we're resupplied every month uh, by parachute drops. In Malaya, the enemy was the uh, communist uh, terrorist organizations who had been initially trained by us to uh, fight the Japanese. Uh, so they were fairly well up on their jungle tactics and initially they started off uh, dominating the scene. Nothing moved on rail or road without being ambushed or blown up. And Malaya being seven tenths jungle, it was very uh, easy for them to disappear into the sticks. The uh, army gently got, slowly got the uh, initiative, uh, taking the people out of the jungle to stop the communists getting supplied in the jungle. They took away the villages close to the jungle and rehoused them in settlements. 